Hi, it's Bill, the Knee Pain Guru. Welcome to Monday, August 12th, 2019. Today, we're going to talk about how to fix knee pain. We'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, so you will be here from two different areas. One is either you're on my newsletter or you're coming straight off the internet onto YouTube, just to give you context of who I'm speaking to. So I'll be making sure to address both of those camps. Uh, if you haven't already, if you're coming straight off of YouTube and you would like to start my seven day knee pain reduction challenge, head over to my website, thekneepainguru.com and do that. That would be a real good thing for you. It would give you context, help with context as far as uh, what I'm talking about. So, Okay, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel, The Knee Pain Guru, as well as turn on notifications because I do these videos periodically throughout the week, uh, addressing questions that come in through my newsletter, topics uh, that are posted as far as comments, questions that come in through my YouTube channel. So the more you interact, the more you understand the path out of pain because there is always a path. If your body can get in pain, it can get out of pain. Whether you're aware of it or not, it's a different story, and that's what we're going to get into today. So now we're going to talk about how to fix knee pain. Uh, I'm going to go over three steps today. First and foremost, the first step in understanding how to fix knee pain is you must first accept the fact that what you're doing isn't working. Think about this. Whether you've gone to a doctor or physical therapist or other modalities of body work, what you're doing is not working. You're looking for a solution for knee pain. You have to accept the fact that what's gotten you to this point hasn't worked. Otherwise, you wouldn't be looking, correct? That just makes sense. So that's the first step in terms of how to fix knee pain. You got to accept the fact that what you've been doing isn't working. The second step is understand what is causing the pain. And this is important. A lot of people are looking for solutions directly on the internet. Doctors play a valuable role in this. Getting a diagnosis, knowing first whether something is broken or torn or nothing is broken or torn is night and day in terms of understanding how to develop a strategy and approach to get yourself out of pain. Now, what you choose to do on the other side of the diagnosis there is a lot of options out, out there. However, understanding what you're dealing with is key and crucial to fixing your knee pain. If you don't know what you're dealing with, how do you know what to fix? If you don't know what's wrong with the sink or the electrical box in the house, how do you know you're using the right tool to fix it? This is across the board, no matter what you're dealing with. Knees are no different. So you have to understand what you're dealing with first in order to develop the correct strategy to get yourself out of pain so you can fix your knee pain. And this is fundamental stuff. This is due diligence that you need to do at home before you get into a conversation with anyone else, especially on the internet. It's important. Developing that strategy is going to be key. So that is your second step. Your third step, the fastest way to get out of pain, and this is going to be like ridiculous simple, like it's so obvious, yet so many people make this mistake. Your fastest way to get out of pain is not causing more pain. There are so many people, I've been doing this for 21 years, and people will go, it's like, I knew my knee was going to hurt if I did that. I knew if I played tennis, I knew if I went hiking, I, if I knew I went camping or jogging or on that trip that my knee was going to hurt, yet they do it anyways. And their knee ends up getting in pain. So if the goal is to get yourself out of pain, doing stuff that is going to cause your knee to hurt worse is not going to get you there. This includes exercise or physical therapy or whatever else, whatever professional is telling you to push through the pain in order to strengthen your legs, thinking you're going to get out of pain. 
it's not going to work. It's actually counterproductive, which leads me to understanding that the fastest way to get out of pain is to create comfort in the knee. And this is not, what I'm not talking about is rice therapy. I am not talking about rice therapy. Rice therapy being your standard doctor or physical therapy protocol, which is rest, ice, compression, and elevation. That has its place. And it is important in the process. But the fastest way to get your knee out of pain is to create comfort. And comfort is specifically understanding how to create and get the pressure, create comfort and get the pressure off of the nerves in the knee that are causing the pain. The, the neurological wiring that has developed as a result of your injury, it changes your brain, it changes how you think, how you feel, and how you move. And just by putting your knee on the shelf, putting it on ice, and resting it and propping it up on the couch while you're watching TV, once you get off the couch, doesn't mean those neurological patterns are different. It's a very different thing to understanding how to create comfort in the neurology. So that ultimately, what you want to do is create comfort by working with the intrinsic movement of the joint, changing the neurological wiring, changing the neurological signaling in the knee, sending a signal to your brain, shifting your emotions, and then it goes back down to the knee. The only way that I have seen that has permanent and long-lasting change in the knee to get you out of pain. So first step, you got to accept the fact that what you're doing isn't working. Second step is understand what is causing the pain, torn, broken, or not. That's the second step. Third is beginning to change the neurological signaling in the knee, causing the pain by creating comfort. You want to learn more about that? Head over to my website, The Knee Pain Guru. I have a seven-day challenge. Now, this is if you're coming straight off the internet, you're finding me first on YouTube, go to my website to uh, take that challenge. Now, if you're on my newsletter, then you've already taken the challenge, and I'm speaking to you as well. Your next step is to join Knee Club, and that's where we work in a group context, in a private Facebook group where we, I give you the specific videos that will show you how to create comfort and get yourself out of pain. If you're on my newsletter list, there's a button below this video in the email that you got this in that you could sign right up there. But now what we're going to do, if you would like to ask your questions, please type those in over on the side. Unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. Let's see what we got here participants live chat welcome to live chat and for some reason the chat doesn't seem to be working test let's see about that test and if you can type in questions please type those in there bill is great at getting people out of pain technology I, it's a little bit challenging at times Let's see, I will post a couple of links here. One is to my website. That is for taking the seven day challenge. That is the first link there. And then the second link is to Knee Club. Type in your questions if you have them. It's saying on my end, there's unable to connect to chat. If this chat, for whatever reason, isn't working, um, type it in the comment section because this video will be up on YouTube on YouTube <laughs> in, going forward. So if you do have questions or comments, please put those in uh, the comment section. I will see those. I address all of those questions. Um, and I can use that content or use those questions on future videos. Like I said, I do these periodically throughout the week. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel, as well as turn on notifications 
of future videos. Uh, and there you'll get notified of future videos. Okay. Well, I'm not getting any questions in here, and I don't know if it's because the live chat is down or no one has questions. Either way, it is out of my control. It's not anything I can help with at this point. Pop out. Let me try a pop out chat. Oh, Robert. Here we go. Okay, Robert asks a question. Can you talk a knee range of motion? Yes, knee range of motion. Let's talk about that for a second. Apparently, questions are working. If I do this pop-up window, please type your questions in there. Robert uh, shared something. So you have range of motion in the knee. Uh, the knee is a hinge joint. It extends. It bends. And there's two different ranges of motion. One is a anatomical range of motion. The other is a comfortable range of motion. Anatomical range of motion is your knee is supposed to be able to extend fully and slightly hyperextend, possibly. Mine does a little bit. And it's supposed to be able to fully bend. And if it's not doing that, what's happening is there is a neurological tension pattern that's going on in the knee, the leg, the hips, and the lower back, which all play a role in the ability of the knee to extend and bend. When that, when we have a tension pattern that the body is taken on to protect the knee from getting injured further, accident, injury, surgery, trauma, whatever is going on, it causes the knee to, to tense up. And it doesn't allow for the full extension or flexion of the knee. Now, you could point to scar tissue. You could point to uh, the muscles aren't strong enough. You can point to a lot of different things. But the, the fundamental piece that's going on that's causing the lack of range of motion is the tension pattern in the neurology, the fear that the body has of going outside the comfortable range of motion, which is the other range of motion that's contained within the knee joint. The comfortable range of motion, from my perspective, from my approach, is we start creating comfort in the comfortable range of motion, which causes the joint to relax. And when the joint relaxes, it increases the comfortable range of motion. And the idea is we get the comfortable range of motion to be equivalent to the anatomical range of motion. Robert, let me know if that answers your question. Okay. Let's see. Joanne asks, knee is swollen. It feels tight when I bend, along with something that feels like a nerve that is on top of the knee, which is extremely painful to the touch. I had water on the knee before. Okay. And the, you know, this is part of what I work with clients on is you ask better questions, you get better answers. And Joanne, I hear what you're posting there. And sometimes people just want to share, which is fine. <laughs> but if there is a specific question in there, I don't really get it, see it or understand it, which means I don't know how to answer. Got it. The knee is swollen, feels tight when you bend it. Something that feels like a nerve. Have you gone to the doctor? Have you gotten a diagnosis of what's going on now? You had water on the knee before. Was that diagnosed before? There's a lot of things that can, uh, there's a lot of directions. And we have to get on the same page in order to establish a solid foundation of moving forward. Otherwise, it's kind of like nailing jello to a wall. There's not real, not a real clear objective. We don't really know what's going on in the knee. You're trying some things that may or may not have a context to them. Uh, it, it gets to be a little bit of a crapshoot. And does something work or does something not work? We really don't know. But the more we can get specific and lay that solid foundation, meaning, and, and I went over this at the beginning of the video, 
you got to accept that what you've been doing isn't working. You got to get a diagnosis to know exactly what you're dealing with. And then stop doing what is causing the pain or at least minimize it. So we have a strategy out of pain. Because here's the piece. If we, when the nervous system is comfortable, when the body gets comfortable, we're able to feel more clearly as to what's going on. And when the knee is like in, in horrible, horrible pain, it's difficult to know where the knee hurts. It's like, ah, uh, the knee just hurts. I want it out of pain. But the more we can quiet that knee down to understand what specifically you do that causes the pain, that's going to be helpful because pain can come from a, a, the reason for the nerve irritation could be a lot of different things. One could be it's because there's something damaged in the knee. Another could be because your diet is creating systemic inflammation, causing the pressure on the ner nerve in the knee. The pain could be because you're dehydrated. The pain could be because there's a, a some neurological tension pattern that's going on in your foot that's causing you to walk a certain way, which causes the nerve irritation in the knee and causes your hip to compensate. So we have stuff that's going on in the physical body. You can have stuff going on in your mind and your emotions that causes your body to tense up a certain way that puts the pressure in your hips and lower back a certain way, the way you sit, the way you stand the way you walk, that causes the nerve irritation. So where's it coming from? We don't know until we start creating comfort in the joint and getting the nervous system to relax. And you get a clearer understanding of what's happening. And without that, like I said, it's a crapshoot. Well, I iced my knee and it felt a little better than I went and played in softball and then it got worse. And then I went home and fell asleep and had, uh, before that, I had a half a bottle of ibuprofen and I woke up and the knee uh, didn't hurt as bad as it did when I went to sleep. That, that's a crapshoot there. Don't even know what the hell is going on or if you're, you're doing anything better and, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you're not because the ibuprofen and the softball and all that other stuff is just, you're on this roller coaster, you're on a hamster wheel, and it's not getting any better. So, any more questions? Please type those in the comments section. Joanne, I don't know if that helped any. Uh, let me see. Pop out chat. There we go. If anybody else has questions. If not, if you don't have questions, uh, I'm going to be jumping off of here in a little bit. I have my knee club call. We do those calls on Mondays and Thursdays. It's a private Facebook group where we get into details. So I would take what Robert is saying and what Joanne is saying, and we would dig in deeper. And I would give you specific videos for homework that would begin to create comfort in the knee based on the pattern of what you're telling me today. Like Robert with the range of motion, I would immediately give him modules one, two, and 40 in the pain pattern interrupt section. Hello, Maria. If you have questions, please ask them. Um, and I would also give him a, uh, modules 22 and 23 for his hips and lower back because the ability of the range of motion in the knee to have full extension, full flexion is directly related to the tension that's going on in the hips and lower back. So we would do that. Then with Joanne, I would, uh, the knee is swollen, it feels tight. I would need to understand, well, what is the diagnosis? Um, is something broken or torn in the knee? Um, Something feels like a nerve on top nerve on top of the knee. So the top of the knee, is it above the kneecap? Is it towards the thigh? And then based on what she tells me, I would give her specific pain pattern interrupts, videos to watch that would give her comfort in that area of the knee. On the next call, we would go over like, well, what is that? What happens when you create comfort? 
I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's going to happen on the other side of creating comfort. And when we do create comfort, that sets forward a chain of events where we're aligning yourself, your knee with your body's ability to heal, your nervous system's ability to heal itself. So I would need to know what happens on the other side of that. What she notices, how the what she doesn't notice, how the pain moves, how the pain changes is going to give me an indication of what the next step is on the other side of creating comfort. We get out of the mentality, this is lazy thinking. This is lazy thinking to go, oh, Bill, I tried your stuff and it didn't work. It's lazy. What I am looking for is, Bill, I did this and I noticed this. The pain got worse, but it moved a little bit higher or I had to push in a little bit more and it got deeper. That is using pain as information. So we're evolving here. This is not <laughs> this is not your mother's knee pain or your father's knee pain elimination strategy. This is next le- next 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 level of getting to an evolved place of understanding what is um, what is happening in the knee in the body to get your knee out of pain. Okay, we aren't getting other questions. So if you're coming, watching this video straight off of YouTube, head over to my uh, website, the kneepainguru.com. Take the seven day knee pain reduction challenge. If you're watching this from the, the email that you, you received as a part of receiving my newsletter, then go down below this video or the link in here and sign up for knee club and get the help and support that's going to get you out of pain pain elimination, not pain management. So, okay. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for Robert, Joanne, and Maria for contributing. And I will see you on the next video.